All right, guys. Uh, thanks for joining in. We experienced some technical difficulties, but we are back. Um, it's Waka Waka Doctor here, live and direct, using this opportunity to educate you as to how to move across to different countries all around the world. I want to be sure that everyone can hear me. Uh, today, like we always do, we are talking about a particular country that's very affordable, um, might give you an opportunity to move abroad eventually. Um, if you're new here, this is Waka Waka Doctor. This is my channel. I use all my social media platforms to educate people as to how to move abroad using education and job opportunities as the best output okay the best the best pathway um and so i have loads of videos that describe the process and requirements to move into different countries so if you can think it i probably have a video that describes how to do it so you need to just go through my page um, and youtube videos and you will see which one fits the most today we are talking about moving to austria Austria is one of those countries that's similar to Germany. And while Germany has quite a limitation, because for most people, even though Germany uh, offers free tuition, you often have to deal with the issue of a blocked account. A blocked account is having an account where you need uh, 10,800 euros in a German bank account even before you can apply for a visa. This is not quite correct with um, Austria, and it's quite different, and um, I think this might present an opportunity. Just as we always do, we bring people who live in these countries, um, people who have moved and have experienced how to move, to kind of educate us and talk us through the requirements and how they did it. What you can do is put down your questions in the comment section and we will try our best to answer as many questions as possible. If you're here, you should start buzzing and inviting your friends so that they can come join us uh, because we're about to have this juicy, juice, juicy, juicy, juicy conversation about how to move to Austria. Um, there's a lot of positives to pick out from this discussion. So... Tighten your seatbelts while I invite our guest. I've just sent an invite to our guest and let's hope he accepts that invite so that we can get this ball rolling. Hey, brother, <laughs> how are uh, you? I'm fine. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Uh, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay. Thank you very much for uh, accepting to do this with me. I know that you are you quite have <laughs> a very tight schedule, yeah, but thank you very yeah, much for me. doing this with me. Yeah, um, let's 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 not waste time. Let's go straight to the matter. Tell us a little bit about Austria because I know some people have never heard about Austria before. Okay, okay. okay. Never heard about Austria. <laughs> what exactly is this country? Where where is it? Okay, um, Austria is an European country. Um, it's located in the central of Europe and has about approximately about um, eight to nine million inhabitants. And um, yeah, it's in the middle of Europe and it borders about five countries. Um, it borders Germany, borders um, Slovakia, borders Switzerland, and I think um, Czech Republic too. Yeah. So I am a master student here, and I'm I'm studying medical engineering um, in one of the universities here. I moved here four months ago. So, four yeah. months ago. Yeah, just like last year. Okay. November. So yeah. so it's quite it's quite fresh. And um, as an African, yeah, uh, are you are you fresh. able to find Nigerian food down there? Yeah, 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 yeah. You have, um, we have a lot here. Um, we have African stores, and it's quite affordable. I mean, quite affordable. The, yeah, yeah, considering the wage and what you okay. earn. What you earn. Fantastic. One other question I want to ask you. Austria, you said it's in the cent cent center of Europe. Is it one of the Schengen countries? Because I know Schengen yeah, yeah, yeah. gives you access yeah, yeah, to 26 yeah, other countries. 
Yeah, yeah, the joint Schengen, um, 1995, yeah. It's one of the Schengen countries. So it's yeah, one of move the around And it's very, it's very easy to move around from here because it's in the central. It connects to, they have trends that connect to almost all the European countries. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. Yeah. So, so let's, yeah. let's ask the, the main question. You said you moved four months ago. You moved from yeah, Nigeria um, down yeah, from Austria. Ago. How did you do it? <laughs> I, I mean, it's been my dream to have a Western certificate growing up. <laughs> so I, when I graduated from the, my bachelor's in Nigeria, I took that both step. I started making research. And <laughs> Austria was my last post up. And considering different factors and including funds and other things, so Austria was it for me. So it means it means that you you must have seen several other countries when you were doing your research. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I saw many. I, I visited almost every every country. I can actually literally tell you about every country. So. <laughs> Wow, so you, you finally chose Austria. Okay, so tell us, how did you find the school? How did you apply? What were the requirements? Tell us the whole process. Yeah, the major two was um, my Google, my internet. That was my major two. Because Austria is a country, um, the immigration process is quite complicating. It's quite complicated and um, it's complex in a way. So I didn't really get help from anybody. I mean, from the start, I didn't really get help. Um, I really got help when I was about finishing, when I got enrolled in my school and I started making research for Nigerians and I got some friends who started telling me things about Austria and how they moved. But from the fresh, from the start, I didn't really have anybody. Even the ones I met tried discouraging me and telling me, bro, this is, you can't do this. And, but finally I did it. <laughs> so, wow. yeah, so um, I, I, I met research online and I got information on any, anything I need. I Google and boom, Naira Land is there. So many other websites are there. Although people, you see people antagonizing and, Packing all their frustration on the comment session, but if you yeah, if, I, if, I if often, you have, if you often, know what I often want. get, I often get a lot of that when I talk about moving to several countries. People insult and abuse, but it's not my business. The yeah. bottom line is, it it affords an opportunity to move abroad. So it's either you take it or you don't. Now, how did you apply to the school? Which school did you apply to? What was the process? What were the documents required? Tell us everything. Okay, um, Austria and Nigeria, um, they don't have a bilateral agreement. Yeah, they only have a bilateral agreement. So before any document can be used, any document that emanates from Nigeria can be used in Austria and valid in Austria. It has to be legalized. I don't know, most people here um, would, would have an idea of what I'm talking about, why most, some people will not. It has to be legalized by, I mean, legal, when I mean legalization, it means the Austrian embassy here, we have to tell you, okay, this document is perfect and it's okay. You can actually use it in our country. And before you can do this, before the Austrian authority, embassy can do this, they'll ask you, the document has to pass through Ministry of Education and Foreign Affairs before you now take it to the Australian embassy. And being Nigerian, being Nigeria, being we have our status, how this country see us, they have to verify those certificates. You can't just give them a certificate and they legalize it. They have to tell you, okay, you gave us your, your certificate, we have to confirm, we have to visit these places and confirm the authenticity before we can actually legalize them. So you they have to send their personal lawyer. Yeah, that's the shortcut. They have to send you up and they will visit every place you took that document from. They will confirm and take some kind of a letter from them that so-so person came here and so-so person gave so-so person the certificate. 
and they will come back, they will email you. If, I mean, if your documents are authentic. So when they do this, you now go back and legalize. But before then, why doing this process? You have to, because the COCO is actually admission, getting admission, that's the COCO. If you are able to get admission, I, I tell you, you, you must finish the race. You must finish it. Which, which schools in Austria um, are available and what's the tuition fee like? Okay, um, we have the Popular University of Vienna. We have um, University of Applied Sciences. And we have um, other schools like the Medical University. Um, there is a website that lists the um, universities in um, um, Austria. I mean, what I have an idea is the ones in Vienna here because I'm studying in Vienna. So we're, we have other universities, University of Salzburg, University of Innsbruck, and other cities. So I think they run, the application window runs, they have two applications. Some universities, my university doesn't have a match intake just for se September, one application window. So, but most of these universities have two application windows. They have March intake and the September intake. That's the winter and summer school. So um, when you want to, okay, one thing about Austria is because of this complexity, I would advise anybody to start on time. Because all these, all these um, legalization, verification, everything, admission process actually takes time. And if you're somebody who is actually desperate, make you just back out. <laughs> what's really what's the fee like? What's the fee? How much is the tuition? The tuition, I pay, I pay, I pay 363 euro per semester. 363 euro, that's less than 300,000 naira. About 200, yes. Yeah. Using the 600 exchange per euro, yeah. It's about, about 200,000 200, per semester. And you have two semesters in a year, correct? Yeah, you have two semesters in a year. That's about 660. So yeah. your tuition is done with 600 and something thousand naira. Yeah, with one five, with one five, I'm, I'm, I'll graduate. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, so that's not now, the case for other universities. Um, my university is actually a University of Applied Science, and they are into more of research. And I think the government has something to do with them and kind of funds them in a way. So, but other university, other universities, more like um, like University of Vienna pays seven hundred and sixty-seven. Yeah, just double of what I pay. Double of yeah. So, so well, I mean, even if it's seven hundred and something, yeah, that's it's not very too much. Cheap. Yeah, I will. Much. What I will do is I will put a list of the universities in the description box of this video, so you can go through um, the 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 description box and see um, the list of universities you can apply to. Now I know that you moved you 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 moved from Nigeria. By the way, let me ask you: while you're studying at the moment, can you work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can work. Um, the normal twenty to twenty-five hours, um, but you can do you can do extra you can do extra and they will pay you in cash, like you can do over time. Like if you work in a gastronomy, like restaurant and bar, you know these places function more on weekends, so you can actually do extra. So weekends. you can work twenty-five hours a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, weekdays. Yeah, you can work twenty five hours a week during session. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Can you move with your family? Is it possible for people to yeah, move def with families? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. People can tag along. If your hobby is going for studies, you can, you can actually, he can actually um apply for two people. You can actually apply for two people. Okay, so someone along. would be the main applicant and move the other person. Yes, as, yes, as but as you, 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 um, both of you will have a different application. The person going for the main person we apply as a student, and the person we apply as family re reunion, like okay. with the marriage certificate, some anything that's that binding. shows proof but, that yeah, okay. yeah, binding, yeah, both of you. Okay, so now what's actually important in this conversation is what are the documents you need to use to apply for admission. What's the website for, 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 for application to get admission? And what documents do you need 
to legalize. I, I'm assuming that this legalization means that you have to go to the Austrian embassy in Abuja mm -hmm. um, to legalize uh, it. Minister of Education. Minister of Education and Foreign Affairs. In, yeah. yeah. Okay. To legalize so, all your... Minister of Education, you have to legalize all your educational documents there. Um, if you're going for a master's degree program, you have to go with your bachelor degree. You have to go with your original signed transcript from the university. Original, not a student copy, because they were fling it from the Minister of Education there. Okay. So you have to go with your originally signed copy of your transcript. Then um, your, definitely your um, um, senior school certificate. Then you have to um, um, authenticate these three things at the Ministry of Education. Then after, you move it to Ministry of Foreign Affairs with all that document, non-educational document combined, like birth certificate, state of origin, police character. But you will not be needing police character at the moment because it expires after 90 days. And you, since, since you will not be applying for a resident permit yet, you are just going to do verification. And even on the Austrian website, they said it, you don't have to, they don't verify that, you don't need to verify that. So, when so you're saying you're saying basically that the first thing is you go to the ministry, you go to the ministry Austrian Embassy, Ministry of Education to verify yeah. your transcripts. Yeah, educational documents. And educational documents, you verify yeah. them. Then you now go to the embassy to verify and legalize your non-educational no, documents. No, 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 foreign affairs. And Minister sorry, foreign, foreign affairs. affairs. Minister of yes. Minister of Foreign Affairs, you now legalize your non everything, everything, including the education. Just that oh, Minister okay. of Foreign Affairs. Just that Minister of Foreign Affairs would attend to the educational document if it doesn't pass, if the um, Minister of Education doesn't verify um, does it, yeah, 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 the okay. document, yeah. So they won't touch okay. it. Okay. Yeah. So, so after this, you take bro, this this doesn't take max three days. Three days. Yeah, so max three days. If you if you are really if you are really serious, two days you are done with this. First day, Minister of Education, second day. Foreign affairs, and you know wow. the fast track, fast track thing in Nigeria. So, yeah, yeah. So, what's the website for finding schools? Mm, I think study in Austria, study in Austria. Dot um, at. Okay, yeah. study in Austria. Dot at. If, yeah, if you go to masters, I think masters. Um, what's this website again? You you see the list of just type Austria. You see with their tuition, everything will come out. That's the way I check schools. Okay, studying studying Austria dot at fantastic. So you can find. So you need to verify your transcripts, your um, SSC, your transcript. SSC, okay, SSC, bachelor degree. That's yeah, bachelor degree. For masters, yeah. Then um, okay. Minister of Foreign Affairs, you have to take all that. Then um, go with your birth certificate, a page of your passport, um. Yeah, with your educational document. State your of origin. Bed set, yeah, okay. Let me, State let of me, origin. Um, another, another loophole. Um, it depends on what you are coming to Austria to do. Because in my own case, I made some kind of mistake. I submitted a whole lot of documents. That were necessary. That was unnecessary. That, so it made my verification take. My, my verification actually took time. Because they were going to my primary school. They were going to on uh, my, my trying to verify my state of origin, which I don't need, unless I, you want to actually apply for citizenship, and that 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 is when they will start requesting for all these documents. Is, but, is IELTS required? Do you need IELTS? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. During my during my application, I had I had an interview with the head of program, so I think with that he actually took my English. Efficiency. Just said, okay, you can't speak good. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so some universities too. Some they said um, they just write in their website if you if your previous program was taught in English. Yeah. Fantastic. Tell me about the proof of funds. You, you when you want to apply, did you need proof of funds to apply? And if yes, yeah. how much? Well, that's I think that's one of the things I. Like Austria came talk for me <laughs> while making my research. Um, they don't need the um, block accounting, unlike the Norway, Germany, Germany, and mm. all 
of them. So what they just need you to do is present a bank statement that you have a certain amount of money. The European Union, normally you're supposed to, um, a month, you're supposed to be surviving with at least 1,000 euros. So in a year, 12,000 euros. So they will expect you to have that in your account. And another thing is they don't do sponsor. They don't do so sponsor. Even if account. you have, even if, yeah, even if you have a sponsor, they will tell the sponsor to move the money in your account. So the account you'll be presenting, they don't have a business with any other person. The account you'll be presenting must have your name in it with the money. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. So and I'm I'm not going to say much about this proof of funds, but proof of funds should not be a hindrance to you moving, even if you don't have that much amount of money. I'm not going to say more than that. Um, so let me let me just do a quick recap to say that Austria is very affordable. It's Central Europe. It's one of the Schengen countries, and gives you access to 24 different other countries. Tuition fees um, as low as 363 euros per semester. So um, equivalent of about 1.2 million naira in a year because two semesters make a year, so you pay like 600,000, 600,000 in a semester, and that's 1.2 in a year. You don't need IELTS, you need to go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs or Ministry of Education in Abuja if you're in Nigeria. Um, if you're in other countries, you need to visit your the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in that country for Austria and legalize your educational and non-educational documents. So your transcripts, your SSC or secondary school, college qualification, your passport, um, um, and, your, and your birth certificate. Once that is done, you apply, for, uh, you apply for your admission. Go to studyinaustria.at. You don't need IELTS. So you, you apply for that admission. Get the admission. Go to the interview process and your visa application process starts. You can work while you study, and you, you, you can work 25 hours um, during, during your, 25 hours per week during your um, study, during your study. Um, you can also do side jobs that would pay you cash, um, but it's not all that legal. Um, you can move <laughs> with your family if you like. You can move with your family. And the minimum wage, as discussed before, is about 10 euros per hour. 10 euros per hour. Fantastic. Yeah, you know, some, yeah, some people can actually pay you more. It all depends. Yeah. And, and you're actually. taught in English at the moment. Taught in English? 100% English. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. 100%, yeah, 100% English. Let, let me ask you. When you finish your study would you be able to stay behind and if yeah. yes how long yeah the after studies you know um normally they give one year with the, your permit um actually the validity is one year after one year you have to come back again to tell them okay i'm still studying and i successfully passed my exams and you have to show some certain ects yeah. after one they will renew the um for another one year so since my master's program is two years, after the studies, they will give you another permit for one year. They call it um, work search permit. So yes, give so you an opportunity have... to search for a job. Yeah. So when you get a job, the company will now apply. They will convert your permit to work permit. Work permit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Lots of people are asking, are there lots of jobs? You have only been there for four months. Are you working at the moment? Yeah, yeah, I'm working. I, I started working one, one month after I got it. As a Niger boy. Uh, uh, Niger yeah, boy. So, <laughs> no, that's, that's me. <laughs> yeah, as a Niger boy. So yeah. it's, it's up to you if you are, if you are born you. with a silver spoon. Mm, that's up to you. But if you're not, um, you, would, you would definitely get jobs because there so are jobs. Somebody, this somebody is asked, um, I think somebody asked, Something like how many months statement do you need? You don't need you don't need um, three months, six months. You don't need what Austria wants to see is your money in your account, the, your balance. That's what they want to see. You don't what? need to leave it for uh, unless you are a salary earner. That maybe you want to show them track of how you've been receiving your funds and all that. 
but you don't need you can actually have your money paid in one week before your interview and as long as you can actually spend that there's no problem tell us a little bit about accommodation how's accommodation is it expensive mm, well if you convert it to naira it's, it's, no 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 ah yes it's now expensive. everywhere it's, everywhere down you yeah. cannot convert so, but, to naira but, 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 but but when you considering what you earn is actually is is cool and compared to other um, Vienna to comparing Vienna to other international cities like Paris, um, yeah. New York, and Geneva, and all of so that. So, how much do so you pay for your I pay, I pay 300. 300 euros? Yeah, per month. For one one bedroom? No, no, no. Just to, um, a student room. A student room? That's cheap. 300 yes, euros. Yeah, studio room. Yeah, studio room. Yeah, yeah, studio room. Like you have yeah. your bed and your kitchen in the same place. Every, everything, everything. That's, yeah. that's cheap. 300 euros is cheap. In, yeah. in the UK, at the time in the UK, I was yeah, paying yeah, like I, I, 550 I, pounds, 700 yeah, I pounds. I, I, know, I know, I've heard a lot. So. Wow. Yeah, wow, yeah, fantastic, so. fantastic. Is there anything else you want to tell us about moving to Austria that people can know? Yeah, I would, not, would like to answer some questions. Okay. So someone is saying, do you need to get accommodation before you get to Austria? Yeah, 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 yeah. You need to show um, during your resident permit application. You need to show proof of accommodation. That's the part before I you leave actually, Nigeria. Yeah, that's the part I really didn't see. It actually took me on away, and I really had to spend money. <laughs> you really, you have to pay. And you know, you know the um, these people they do caution. You have to pay deposits, and they will ask for the first month rent. If you are renting a kind of dormitory, they will ask for it first month rent with your caution fee. Then you have to send you a contract and Australian embassy will require for the contract. Contract of accommodation that you've already, you have already, unless you have a family here who can actually, who is actually staying in a place that can accommodate you. They will get their landlord or house owner to write the kind of contract for you that you'll be staying with them. Fantastic. Because when you get here, when you get here, the first thing you have to do is your house registration and everything you do Will be connected to it, bank accounts, phone number, everything. So anytime you mess up, the police will be on your bed. Yeah. So... <laughs> wow, wow. Oh, cool, cool. So, um, guys, if you have questions for Henry, you can send him a DM. Follow him. It's Henry underscore Kato. H e n r y underscore c a r t o on Instagram. You can follow him. Um, and send him DMs if you want. Um, do they allow? Do they accept BSCs? Is it is it just masters or BSc is the same? I so many people have been asking me about that. I honestly don't know. Don't know. But, okay. be, 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 because because most of their courses in bachelor in bachelor level um is taught um they are taught in austria in german yeah in, in german, german yeah, yeah german. So i don't i don't know if there are uh, english courses available someone is know. asking do they have an embassy in nigeria of course they have an embassy yeah in nigeria. I yeah don't yeah, know they have, they, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah they have an embassy luckily luckily for us luckily for us i think um nigeria is one of the places they have an embassy in africa i, I think the cameroonians the gambian and other people the Ghana and other people come to the Abuja embassy to process their wow. visa. So, yeah. But you have to go to Abuja. You don't have a Lagos embassy. Yeah, you have to you go. Have to to go. Um, someone is asking, can you pay your fees instrumentally? You want to pay 200,000 instrumentally. You want to pay 200,000 instrumentally. Where my school, my, my university actually did that. When I got um, admitted, they actually sent me an invoice for first payment, 250 euro. He said I can hold on with the 100 and something until my start date. Well. <laughs> this they thing actually, is funny to me. This thing is they, very they funny actually, to me. They, they actually splitted it. And they, they actually splitted the fees. And the quality of education too. Well, let me not talk about that. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Was it easy getting know. appointments, visa appointments? Was it easy? Yeah, it's not like it's not like Poland. <laughs> it's not like Poland. It's not like Poland. Like, well, okay. Once, well, yeah, Abuja Embassy is actually uh, very active. Once you send them an email, they reply you immediately. Reply All right, guys. Um, that has been me and Henry talking about moving to Austria. Look, do not say that I've not helped you. I have helped you now. 
So the ball is in your court. It's up to you to take this move and start. 300 euros, 600 euros in a year. That's less than 1 million naira to make the move. And you only need to pay the first semester fee, which is um, about... Nem so some, so sorry for... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Somebody somebody's asking for the number of my school. I've seen that message pop up many times. So okay. Not like I'm withholding anything. Okay, the name of my school is um, University of Applied Science Technicum Vienna. University of Applied yeah. Science Technicum Vienna. There you go. Yeah. So, guys, yeah. it's up to but, you but now. It's more like, it's more like um, a, a science-based. Um, they, they do all these um, program, robotics, mechatronics, and engineering, basically. Okay. So, but they have tons of other universities you can actually check out. But the University Fantastic. of Applied Sciences, to my knowledge, pays the same amount of fees. They have another um, University of Applied Science here in Vienna. They pay the same amount of fees. So, so guys, there you go. Three hundred euros. Another thing. Yeah. Another thing. The cheaper the university, the more hard it takes to get admission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but so, the the yeah, highest but, uh, the so highest they, I've seen is seven hundred and something euros. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but for me, because for me, I had to I had to write an entrance exam. Um, computer based. I had to do some warm up class. I have to do an oral exam. I have to have an interview with the head of program and stuff like that. I was actually running crazy during that time. So no, but I mean, they, they, it's, you will definitely have to do the work. You definitely have to do the yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not as if it's a walk that, in the park. That, that you, one, you, you know the opportunity is there, so you have to one, take. You have thing, to take the opportunity. That's one thing about their education system. The education block. They, you really need to know what you are doing. Like, it's not just, I want to move, I want to move. It will actually tell on you later. If you are not, if you don't want to put your head there, you must actually learn something. They will force you to, or they pull you out. That's it. So, Do you think prepare. someone with a 2-2 two -two, two -two can apply for MSc? I, I have a 2-2. Two -two. There you go. Yeah, I have it too. too. Yeah, there you so, go. So, people, people, people will actually discourage you. And university in um, Austria doesn't accept. I, I read it actually. I read it and my mind was flying. Ah, we like this admission. And at the end of the day, I and what I am studying in my master's level is not what is not it's not the same faculty. I I did industrial chemistry in my bachelor, and I'm doing an engineering in masters. I'm doing a medical engineering in masters. So, well. Look, yes. um, Henry, thank you very much. You've done very well. Thank you very much for, you know, accommodating us and talking to us about moving to Austria. People might be in your DM soon asking to help them uh, move, you know, giving them advice and all that. His name is Henry underscore Kato. I've just pinned it there. Someone is asking if you can move from Turkey. I don't want to answer that question because it's obvious yeah, you can yeah, move from anywhere. Yeah. Why? Why are you yeah, specific they, they, about but, Turkey? But, yeah, but the good, <laughs> but the good thing is, you don't have to um, go through the legalization verification thing if you are moving from another country aside Nigeria. Nigeria, that's a, yeah, that's a very good thing. Yeah, it's I only Nigeria. It's only Nigeria that needs verification and all that. Yeah, they have to send lawyer in Nigeria. They have to send lawyer. I don't know why. Wow. All, all, all other people, because my program is an international program. Other people then from other countries didn't really say anything about that. I'm the only one who they try to verify the documents mm -hmm. and before they. Well, thank you very much. I know you have to go. I also have to go. Um, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for doing this, guys. I will leave this video on my Instagram feed. It will also be on my YouTube channel. So this is Waka Waka Doctor signing out. Thank you very so, much. Cheers, guys. Okay. Okay. Bye.